Okay, let's go through the answer of the previous quiz. Alright, the question one. Ask you for the symbol for the mister. Now, this one you ought to know by now. The first one is a variable resistor. The second one, potentiometer. The third one, somebody say diode. Right, it's actually LED. Right, LED, light emitting diode. So the answer is this one, uh, the green one. Right, thermistor, the answer is it's not. It's actually a resistor. A resistor with something like a tick. Right, a raising temperature like that. Then this is a parallel line, a line that's parallel to the, the body of your resistor. Alright, now next question. Question number two. Question number two. Which statement is true? Right, they ask you which statement is true. Resistance of te uh, thermistor always decrease when temperature increase. Is that true? Now it may not be true. All right, because as we know, we have two types of thermistor. Right, there are two types of thermistor. Right, you have the PTC positive temperature coefficient. If you have the positive temperature coefficient, thermistor, then right, the resistance will increase with temperature. Right, increase with temperature. So this question number two, uh, this is false. Right, false. It doesn't always doesn't always decrease. Sometimes depending on the type of thermistor, right, it can increase or it can decrease. Now resistance of PTC thermistor decreases when temperature increase now the thing the doubt uh, the thing to remember down here is this uh, as long as you see positive positive right positive both must increase or both must decrease together you cannot have one temperature increasing and then resistance decreasing or you cannot have resistance decrease when temperature increase right they either increase or decrease together right that's why they call positive now the third one resistance of ntc negative temperature coefficient thermistors decreases when temperature increase now this is the correct one one must decrease one increase the other one must decrease right for the ntc one increase right? if temperature increase resistance must decrease Temperature decrease, resistance increase. All right. So the answer is the third one, right now here. Now, uh, question number three. Again, which statement is true? Being shared among the resistor and a thermistor. One resistor, one thermistor down here sharing, sharing five volts, five volts. Ah, huh? so the voltage down here. Plus the voltage down here must give my must add up to five volts. Must add up to five volts. The voltage here, I say again, plus the voltage here. Add up to five volts. And let's examine this thing. Voltage across the thermistor down here. Right? Voltage across the thermistor is down here. Alright. What is the share like? At 25 degrees, very high. At 25 degrees, very high, ah, uh, 4.5. 50 degrees become lower. 75 degrees even lower. So what can you what can you tell about the resistance? Alright, as the temperature increase down here, see ah, temperature increase, the voltage decreases. Increase, decrease. Alright. Voltage decrease also tell me that voltage decrease, right? That means resistance of this decreases. As the temperature increase, the resistance of the thermistor decrease. That means this one is a NTC, right? A negative temperature coefficient. Now here, now here we have temperature increase. The resistors, the resistance, the resistance. We know that the resistance, um decreases because the voltage decreases so from here i will know that the resistance decrease what does it tell me about the thermistor 
it tell me that the thermistor is a NTC thermistor, negative temperature coefficient, because one increased, another one decreased. Okay, bear in mind that this is an NTC. All right, come back to the question. The resistance of the resistor is 2 kilo ohms. You cannot tell the resistance how, much, how many kilo ohms. It's not written down here. All right, so this one is completely out. Completely out. The thermistor is an NTC resistor. Uh, thermistor. The thermistor is an NTC. We, we just we just prove that, right? Correct or not? So this is the correct answer. All right. Thermistor is a PTC. All right. Uh, you cannot gather gather uh, from information down here that this is a PTC. We have gathered from here the information down here that it is a NTC. All right. Why? Go ahead and repeat. Uh, just now. I scroll back the video and then uh, listen to the explanation why this is an NTC. No current flows in the circuit. This one is definitely false. Huh? Current will flow. Current will flow. Right? Uh, how much current is another question, but it will flow. What is the current down here? What is the current down here? The voltage is 5, five volts. Huh? Right? So voltage divided by the resistance. The resistance will be what? This one, the resistance of this one plus this one. The two add together. So current will flow. Right? There will be current flowing. Oh, question number four. They say, at what temperature will the current be highest? At what temperature will the current be highest? Huh? Take a look. Now, at what temperature will the current be highest? Now, uh, we have we know that this thing is a PTC or NTC. We have proven that this thing is an NTC. Again, if you do not know why NTC, scroll back just now, uh, two minutes ago, the video, and listen. Why is this thing an NTC? And when we know this thing is an NTC, the higher the temperature, right? Correct or not? Temperature increase, the resistance mass decrease temperature increase resistance decrease all right so um resistance decrease huh? so we have we know that um current equal to what right the current just now i say the current right i represent current us using i current is actually equals to the voltage divided by the resistance correct or not and we know that the resistance down here, this R down here, is the sum of the two resistance. Alright, so in order for your, you want this thing to be highest, right? Voltage is fixed at 5 volts. Voltage is already fixed at 5 volts, you cannot change that. Alright, the only thing that can change is the resistance of the thermistor. The resistance, the resistance of this is fixed. So the only thing that change is the resistance of the thermistor. Alright, so if you want the current to be big, the denominator down here, the resistance must be small. Alright, so how the smaller the better. Alright, the smaller the resistance, the higher the current. So how to make the resistance small, the higher the temperature, the lower the resistance. Alright, because this is NTC, because it is NTC, the higher the temperature, the lower the resistance. Alright, so let's take a look at the possible answers. Higher the temperature, the lower the resistance. So of course, higher, the highest temperature is down here, 75 degrees Celsius. So this is the correct answer. Uh, Alright, question number 5. At what temperature will the circuit, will the resistance of the circuit be the highest? Now take a look at the circuit down here. You want, you want the highest resistance, all right? At what temperature will the resistance? Now the question is here. Yeah, at what temperature will the resistance of the circuit be highest? Resistance of the circuit is this resistance plus this resistance. This is a PTC. This is a PTC thermistor. The higher the temperature, the higher the resistance. I say again, higher the temperature, the higher the resistance. This is fixed. So in order for the circuit to have the highest resistance, you go for the highest temperature to make this also very the resistance of this also very high. So which one is the highest temperature? Alright, 75 degrees. The answer is 75 degrees. 
Now, which is the symbol for a transistor? Now, please, you need to know the symbol of the transistor. This is a variable resistor. This is a potential meter. LED, of course, a transistor is like that, right? Learn how to draw it as I all right, or draw T R. You draw two two lines slanting. Once go up, one come down. Can all right? Draw arrow, and then draw a draw a line. All right, these two lines roughly lah, huh? roughly must be the same. All right, uh, must be the same distance away from this T junction. All right. Which picture, which picture, name the terminal correctly? Uh, of course, base collector emitter. This is the correct answer, right? This one is the correct answer. Uh, the rest are all wrong, right? Uh, remember, this is very important, and we know that. We know that for a transistor, for a transistor, a transistor is an automatic switch. And we use which tool to open or close the circuit? We use this one, uh, collector and emitter, right? No other, no other terminal. Only these two terminal can act as a switch. And then how do you switch on or switch off? Switch on, you have to send a base current inside. There must be a base current. Once there is a base current, these two, you can see it as a complete circuit, right? Complete circuit. That means you can you can take it as a short circuit down here, all right? No base current. This thing will be an open circuit, all right? Next. How can the switch be turned on? Uh? How can the switch be turned on? Now, this is a comp uh, switch, right? So you want to turn on. Of course, you when the base current, right? When the base current, not the collector current, right? And not the emitter current. When the base current, when current flows into the base. All right. Will the LED light up at high or low temperature? At high or low temperature? Now, as I see, uh, you take a look at your um, notes. Huh? you refer to your notes. I put a resistor down here, and I say current will flow, flow from the five five volts. Huh? five volts flow inside to the base, and then go into the right flow flow into the base, and then once if current flow into the base. All right, transistor will turn on, transistor will turn on, and you will have a short circuit down here, current can flow through. Now, if, if, this thing will only happen if the resistance down here is not too high. All right, you cannot have a, you cannot have a 3, three mega ohms down here, 10 mega ohms down here, and you expect current to flow through. All right, this resistance need to be really relatively low value. Right to enable enough enough base base current to flow through. All right. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, three mega ohms. Imagine three three mega ohms as you as five five mega ohms, ten mega ohms. You are getting nearer and nearer to an open circuit. Open circuit means what? Very high, very very high. Right. Infinite resistance. Very very high resistance. So, you need this. Right, resistance down here, the resistance down here to be relatively low so that current enough current can flow into the base. Right? No other path. Uh, there's only one path that the current can flow. Right? Current need to flow into the base. The only way is to flow through this thermistor and then go in here. Now, so you need you need the thermistor to have a relatively low resistance. Low resistance, right? In order for you to have current flowing in, right? Enough current flowing in to turn on the transistor. So this is a NTC. If you have a low, if you have a low temperature, if the temperature is low, resistance is high. Right? Resistance is very high. So can current flow? Very little can flow. Not enough to turn on. Alright? Low temperature, I say again, low temperature, high resistance because it's NTC. Low temperature, high resistance. High resistance, it will block the current, right? So very little current flow, not enough, not enough base current, all right? So if you have high car, high high temperature, what happened? High temperature, the resistance down here drop, all right? Resistance drop, 
current flow, right? More current can flow. More current flow, you have enough. Enough base current. You have enough base current. All right. Transistor will turn on and your LED will light up. Now, how how much is enough? That one, um, that, that calculation involved, you do not need to know, all right? How to calculate how much current, huh? That one, we will learn later on, right? Later on, you will learn. Now, um, right now, all you need to know is, all you need to know uh, is the transistor can turn on when the temperature is high. High temperature, low resistance, low resistance, you enable current to flow, all right? Uh, the switch will turn on. Um, okay, so let's move on to the last question. Which statement is false? Okay, which statement is false? Now, same thing, uh, this one is an NTC. They tell you, uh, NTC means what? Uh? Um, low, low, low temperature, high, high resistance. That's why you see, uh, low temperature at 25 degrees, relatively lower than 40 degrees. LED is off. Uh. LED is off. Low temperature, low temperature, high resistance down here. High resistance down here, low current. That's why the LED is off. High temperature, very little current. This is off. That's why your LED is off. Okay? It's off. Temperature rise. Start to rise up. And you may, wait, when you observe uh, again at 40 degrees, 40 degrees Celsius, huh? of course, the, resi the resistance down here would have decreased. Decreased so much that uh, they tell you this time around, this is, the LED is on. The LED on uh, means what? Means this transistor is already on. If this transistor is off, the LED cannot turn on because current cannot flow. Now, transistor is on means that there is a base current. All right, there is a base current. That means at 40 degrees, the resistance has decreased enough for enough, all right? Has decreased enough for base current to turn on the transistor, all right? So at 50 degrees, 60 degrees, definitely the LED will still be on, all right? Will still be on. Well, we're, we're not too sure. Okay, let, let, let's go. go. All right, the first answer tell you LED is off at 20 degrees. 20 degrees so is it true or false of course it is true why is it true at 25 degrees it is still off at 25 degrees the resistance down here is still high right high enough to block your current how about at 20 degrees is even higher all right so it's even higher so we are very sure that at 20 degrees LED will be off all right LED will be off. So this uh okay, this answer is actually true. So this is not the correct answer because we are looking for false an answer that is false. So LED is off at 20 degrees Celsius. It is false. Alright. LED oh sorry. LED is off at 20 degrees. This is true, huh? This 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 is true. It's definitely true. Okay, now the next one. LED is it says down here LED is on at 35 degrees. So is it very true that really true that it will turn on at 35 degrees? We are sure that it will turn on at 40 degrees. We are not too sure whether at 35 degrees it will be on or off. Right? We are not sure. What we are sure is at 40 degrees and above it will be on. Why above will be on? 40 degrees, huh? 50 degrees will it be on? It will still be on because at 50 degrees the resistance down here will even be lower will even decrease all right will decrease even more right it will be lower than the resistance at 40 degrees a bigger current can flow right bigger current can flow why because the resistance has dropped even further so for any temperature above 40 degrees all right uh, the led will remain on Right, but we are not too sure between 25 to 40. Right, so let's take a look at the answer. Between uh, so 35 degrees, it will turn on. Right, not too sure. Right, this one we are not too sure. LD is off at 50 degrees. Now, this one is definitely false. All right, LED is off at 50 degrees, it's definitely false.